So, welcome. So my name is Gaina from Fitfish and I'm going to be talking to you on this video about the power of a positive attitude. And I'm going to be using three P's to do this. So do you believe that having a more positive attitude could make a difference to the way that you are, uh, the things that happen to you and the things that you cause to happen to others? Do you believe that's possible? Well, I believe it is, and I've experienced what it is, so I'm going to share three P's that can give you that power of a positive attitude. So the first is that it can push out negative thoughts, actions, and behaviours. So by dwelling and chewing on, sometimes literally more positive things, you are naturally going to push out more negative things and things that aren't as good for you. So some more unhealthy thoughts or habits or behaviors, there's going to be less room for them in your life. So this could be something like putting more vegetables on your plate and there literally then won't be as much room for some of the other things that perhaps aren't as beneficial for you. Or it could be drinking more water and letting water replace a couple of your drinks each day so that actually you're drinking more water which pushes other things out. Hello, welcome, good to see you. Um, or something like chewing on Bible verses. So when you find your thoughts wandering, if you stop and meditate and chew on a Bible verse instead, then you will end up pushing out more negative or man, more unhealthy thoughts. So, so it pushes out more unhealthy and negative behaviours. But it's also easier to keep up. So it's easier to keep up than giving something up. So taking on some positive actions is much easier than saying, I'm not going to do that again, or I'm not going to do that again. It's naturally just more manageable, more rewarding and easier. And then it can be more you and just be your lifestyle. So that's the first one. It pushes out more negative and unhealthy behaviors. The second one is it pulls positives towards you. You attract more positive things if you have a more positive attitude. Now, why is that? There's various theories, and one of those is called the vibration theory. But basically, you're changing your trajectory. So if you start being more positive, then your thoughts, your actions, your behaviors are going in a different direction. And that's actually going to help you to have a different way of looking at things and you won't get knocked as hard and you'll bounce back more easily and then more positive things will happen to you or you might just see things in a more positive way so as well as pushing out things it can actually attract more positive things and the third p is proliferate so a bit of a funny word but it means to grow rapidly by producing new things and you might, in your life, have some ceilings. So they might be glass ceilings, they might be invisible, but somehow you just can't get beyond them, or you might not, you, you might want to reach a certain goal, but you've never got past a certain point. And somehow you're keeping yourself within limits. And it might be that actually you need to remove some of your perfectionism or your fear, fears of failure that hold you back and stop you from moving forward. So if you're more positive and have a more positive attitude and believe that you can achieve something, then it's much more likely that you will succeed and push those glass ceilings and achieve new things that you haven't achieved before. And you can put your faith into action and the impossible will become possible and you'll see awesome things happen. So these three Ps and the power of a positive attitude are relevant in lots and lots of different areas. So it could be that they're relevant for your, your healthy eating journey. Um, you want to eat healthier, so you bring in some new things. It, it could be something at work, it could be something at church, it could be in your prayer life, it could be in your, in your Bible study with God. But start with the thoughts, because thoughts lead to actions, actions lead to habits and behaviours, and that leads to your lifestyle. So if we start at our thoughts and start thinking more positively and more wholesome thoughts, 
then that will ripple out into the rest of our lives and the rest of our experiences. So let me know what you got from that. Let me know an action that you're going to take and something positive that you can do today. Okay, take care and speak to you soon. Bye.